over 30 brothers in arms because um, of the chemistry that you all have on screen. You all literally feel that, yeah, maybe some way we feel like brothers. Yeah, uh, I, don't th I don't know if it was uh, the <coughs> on-screen relationship that came from the script that uh, just like a trickle into our relationship or uh, the way we are actually with each other got translated on screen. Uh, but yeah, it has been a very smooth uh, uh, working chance to I, work I with. I just good feel actors. there's been some, uh, there's been some connect, there's some uh, unsaid understanding that we just share. And, uh, uh, you know, I know just by looking at him what he's thinking or how he wants. Uh, the scene to be done, I think that it's just beautiful what we share. When you get role in such a role, you just become an actor and the vanity of the star can be left behind you. In a film like this, uh, at least for me, for, for me I'm always searching, I'm always, I'm always uh, 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 have the stance of an aspiring actor. I don't know if I can do the next shot, I don't know if I can say my lines uh, the way it needs to be said. Uh, so I'm, I'm always searching and for a film like this, uh, you can be found out very, very easily. If you're not real, if you're, if you're not feeling it, if you're doing an act, uh, you're going to be found, found out. Uh, when you're doing films like, uh, like say, Adhoom 2, which also I, I enjoy, I love, uh, you can use a lot of your craft, you know. You can get away with a lot of things. You don't really have to feel everything. Uh, but in that, the hard work comes in the physical manifestation of uh, that that look and for that the sacrifices that one needs to make is probably harder and tougher uh, and you know it's it's you need to be so consistent with it and it's for such a long period of time that it probably it becomes harder than doing a film like this as, uh, as well so actually you you, you can't really uh, 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 choose which one is harder which one is easier because both have their uh, yeah but it's liberating if you just talk about that yeah. Yes, I had samosas. We had yes. some patata vadas. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Which uh, I don't think is your usual lifestyle at all. <sighs> well, you don't know me then. Really? <laughs> really? No, I mean, when I need to be disciplined, yeah, I am. Mm. When I don't need to be, I am I'm not. You know, so, okay. Yeah. Lovely interview with Anand Kumar, who I think is a very ground and honest person, um, who told me, that, yaar, pehle jab maine, uh, maine suna ki Riti Roshan play, mujhe lagta hai, yaar, British actor hai, kaise play karenge? Par baad mein unka, matlab, passion dekhe, mujhe laga, nahi, nahi, ye to, sahi baat I want to know what you feel about it. So, In the beginning, I was very uh, anxious mm. when I was supposed to meet him. I did not want to meet him. Uh, because I had this vision of this character in, in my head. Mm. And I wanted to play him the way I wanted to, you know. And meeting him, I knew would, uh, kind of uh, displace that. Uh, so it, it, it was a little bit of fear that I had. But when I met him, what happened was the opposite of what I was fearing. I mean, he just filled my vision with colors and he's just, he just, uh, uh, I enjoyed meeting him so much, so much. And I understood so much more about this character. I got so much more to play with uh, in, the, in the character in my work. He's a tremendous all heart. I mean, I was just feeling him. I was not even listening to him. I was just feeling this man, where he's coming from and what he's saying. And I don't know, I don't know if it, this makes sense to you, but, but I identified with his journey from start to end. Or, uh, you know, if you calculate objectively where I'm from and where he's from, you'll say, Aisa kaise? you know, how can you feel what he's, he's, uh, he's, he's feeling? But it makes me realize that, uh, you know, you don't have to, even the, uh, that there are have-nots uh, in, in all spheres, in all stratas of life, you know. There are so many ways of feeling uh, every person. It doesn't matter whether you're living on the first floor or the hundredth floor. Uh, but when a person hits rock bottom, no, and everyone feels it, at some point in your life, you will hit rock bottom. And when you hit rock bottom, it equalizes you with every human being in the world. And then, once once you once you once you reach there, mm. you can you can uh, you can equalize. You can you can identify. You can understand. You can feel that pain. So I think uh, that's uh, the way I make sense of it. That I I really understood and I really felt uh, his journey. As an actor, it's the story of the underdog is is it way more interesting than to play the real hero, the stereotypical hero? No, I feel that uh, if a person is a hero, mm. there's no story. 
where is the story if if you're already uh, the uh, a story worth being told is is about a journey, journey it's about a growth it's, yeah. it's about uh discovery if i'm playing krish then uh, they generally say oh that's larger than life no that's not if the journey is is a common then what makes it larger than life a costume no it's the journey that actually uh, needs to be larger than life and those are the kind of films that i get attracted to a uh, lot and i think what what he uh, said earlier that uh, you know getting connected to a person's story i think uh, what you mean is when you're saying about the graph of a character yeah. i think everybody hits rock bottom as he said everybody goes through tough times everybody has uh, ups and lows in life and if this if there's no graph to it if it's just you know one line if, if it's just the hero then for an actor also it becomes what do you do yeah i think it's very very important for an actor to understand and feel what is happening and because that's how we would keep it close to reality mm. because in reality it never stays like this it always mm. goes up and down both of you have been you know recognized for your performances bahut pyar mil raha hai on social media and of course the collections going straight but sabse badi baat main batau aapko like my dad used to say uh, still still says that uh, agar tumhe ek message dena hai ya information so you make a documentary don't make a film Hmm. films are supposed to entertain and today i'm even happier because uh, theater ke bahar jab log aate hain aur jo bol rahe hain they are not just talking about the fact that it's inspiring they're not just saying that uh, uh, you know it's got a message and it's touched our hearts they're saying we cried we laughed we clapped we uh, 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 shouted so there is a lot of uh, entertainment that uh, the film has uh, so i feel like you know uh i have properly passed <laughs> because yeah from both sides from both sides you know i got a call from a friend of mine he was watching the film in chicago people are dancing in theater da- yes yeah. that's exactly uh, what i was saying i missed that so good you <laughs> you had that yeah so they were you know they were dancing in the theater in chicago in melbourne they're dancing in theaters and you know it's it's amazing to see all this happening so i feel like uh, uh, you know i've not uh, let my dad down in that regard that you know films are supposed to end oh entertainment ke sath mein if you're passing on an inspiring thought sure. message great but films have to be entertaining when it comes to biopics it can get tricky kyunki yeah. aapko facts present karna padta hai and there are creative liberties taken to make sure it's entertaining for the audience because you want to make yeah, it massive yeah. that's very very important i so wo balance kitna zaruri hota hai bahut important hota hai because uh cinema as i said is meant for entertainment so mm. uh if uh which is why uh, before the movie starts the line doesn't say this is a true story the line says inspired by true life events of uh, mr anand sir and uh, his students so mm-hmm. that is uh, it's very important to to uh, make sure that your 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 you know what you're doing mm-hmm. you know and you're not you're not uh, uh, doing something and promising something else yeah would you like to add to that nandish i think he's absolutely right entertainment is important yeah. and uh, i also feel the same what uh, you know if you can if you don't have entertainment you can just end up making a documentary mm. and those are not interesting enough so uh, you know where it's required to make a documentary it is okay then that's for a different audience here the idea is to entertain people and i completely feel that at taking a little bit of liberty adding music adding song that's what works in indian cinema and that's what you know people enjoy yeah, yeah but th- that's and what cinema is it's is, meant to yeah. be that so uh, people are loving it and there's a reason behind why they're loving it they're saying good things about the film they're dancing in theaters yeah. and it clearly shows that they're enjoying what they're seeing yeah and i think presentation matters so much also quickly i'll add sure. that uh, it is important for this film to be entertaining and uh, edgy and cool and all of that because anand sir is all of that yeah. it would be injustice because uh, you know i've played characters and i've said this uh i've played ca- characters like uh, aryan in dhoom 2 a cool dude you know the 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 smart uh, guy who uh thinks two steps ahead and all of that and he's got this really cool look uh, about him anand sir will give him a run of a run for his money he is so edgy he's so cool so witty mazakiyan hain he's he's in uh, he's a wholesome character so to make a film on him and not have that uh, uh that fabric in it Uh, would be injustice a lot has been spoken also about the accent 
of both of you in the film. Some have really liked it and some have said, is that Bihari accent? Questioned it. So what are your thoughts on it? Uh, I really enjoyed myself. Mm. I really, really enjoyed speaking in Bihari. In fact, I really think I must have been a Bihari in my past life. Because <laughs> I enjoyed it that? so much. You feel that as well? And we spoke in Bihari all I the time. Uh, we were just when we were on yeah, the set, absolutely. discussing, joking, narrating episodes. Uh, we were always talking in Bihari. It is a beautiful language. It's got this amazing mishran of uh, vulnerability and strength. And uh, it's just beautiful. And uh, Anand sir is okay with it. Then, you know, I don't really need any other mm. validation. Also, uh, I would like to add that it's really not about that. Uh, and uh, talking about exterior, your hair, your face, face the brown your face. accent, here, there. First of all, not every Bihari has got the same accent. You know, I, I've met so many of them. And a lot of them had uh, 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 different uh, intonations for every uh, sentence and word and style. Sure. You know, there's so many different kinds. Uh, so you can just pick one and, and uh, you know, work towards that one. Having said that, uh, it's all just, these are all devices, they are all channels. Uh, what is important is to match the heart, ma match the soul. If there is, if this kirdar ki atma mein jhaan kar aap dekho na, over there if the match is not there, then I'm at fault. So it is very, very important uh, for an actor, especially when taking on the responsibility of uh, expressing another human being's journey, that he needs to match that, match the emotional connect needs to be absolutely yeah. flawless. And uh, that was my aim. That mm. was my aim. There, if I have uh, uh, stumbled, then then I will, you know, uh, I'll be at fault. Uh, I think I've said this before also that uh, a lot of people have this notion that Bihari is Bhojpuri, which it's not mm. that. There is a lot of difference in both the uh, things, both the languages. So, uh, where Ananji and Pranavji are from, there it's not completely Bhojpuri. And a lot of people have told me this, that, you know, this word should have been spoken like this. But what they've told me, that is Bhojpuri. That's not the language or the dialect that these, uh, both of them speak. Yeah. I remember, you one of the, you probably were uh, among the few in the industry who had the strongest statements during Me Too and took the first stand. Was it difficult at a time when the entire inquiry happened? and the carrot had to be given back for you as an actor because did you feel a little you know uncomfortable with the entire thing of course i was uh, i was shocked i was confused i did not know what to do but i knew that uh, my instincts were very very uh, aligned with the fact that uh, emotionally and uh, intellectually i knew that uh, i had to take a stand and uh, it was a very difficult thing. Uh, I was the first one to do it, yeah. which is why I did not know whether it was right or wrong. There was no precedence to it. Uh, so uh, I had to do something that was difficult, but it was still the right thing to do. I always uh, uh, know this from my past experience that uh, most often the correct thing to do yeah. will be the tougher thing to do. Yeah. So I, I, I understood that and uh, I uh, took that de decision on uh, behalf of, I think, 80, 90, 100 uh, people who were attached with one film. And uh, it was not easy, but I'm glad I did. And uh, I'm glad that we gave uh, that time for, for uh, 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 the law to take its course. Mm. And I think it's put us in a better position now. Uh, and uh, uh, a more clearer, uh, more uh, uh, a freer stance now. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's, I think uh, it was all done for the good. It has validated my, my decision at that time. Your characters who you portrayed on screen have told you, like when they saw you on screen. I was in an interview yesterday where uh, Anand sir was uh, looped in, uh, you know, live from Patna. Okay. And that was the uh, first time that I got to hear his reaction on, uh, yeah, within that interview uh, space. And uh, I had to really, I had to actually control my tears. Uh, and I really felt like screaming <laughs> at the top of my voice. 
um, because uh, his his reaction really really touched me. Uh, he said some wonderful things. I mean, I I can't even do justice to his uh, to his uh, words if I repeat them because he speaks so beautifully. Uh, so the things he said really really touched me, and I'm. I think uh, that will stay with me for the rest of my life. Uh, I was at the screening with him and uh, after the movie got over, I was standing there waiting and he just came, hugged me and started crying. He said one line at the end of it that Aaj se hamari pechan aap se hai. So he, he saw himself in me and he said, I just loved your reactions, your, the way you were happy for the kids and all of that. But the best thing was when he hugged me and he he cried, I think. It's yes. going to always stay with me. Uh, the Super 30 Brothers in Arms. And like I said, I think there are so many stories that are inspiring and we really hope that we see so much more. Thank you once again. Thank you. Thanks.